So you, yeah. you, your mom passed away, and then and you and you still felt. Oh, I was compelled. By then, my pain and the the trauma and the pain of experiencing that as a family member, um, my passion just grew, and I said, even if I don't make a difference. I have to try. I said, I know I have no healthcare background, but dang it, I can hire that. And I needed to find caregivers and nurses and people in healthcare that were so burned out, they were willing to try anything, which is what I wound up finding. And, you know, you have to understand that it's really hard to retrain healthcare professionals who have learned everything a different way. Um, it's the same with family care caregivers. For years, they've heard they're going to lose their loved one. A diagnosis happens and their whole life's going to fall apart. And my mission now is to show people it doesn't have to be like that. And for professionals who have worked and been trained in long-term care the old way, it's really tough because even after you tell them about it and you then they agree that they're going to try that. If once they're in the mode where, where they're comfortable, they go back to old behavior. So task-oriented behavior.